Hi, Bob Thomason here. Just wanted to take a few moments and show you a little trick here. This is using Windows 8.1. It's a new system that I've gotten in. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is share information from another computer that I have here in my office, which is a Windows XP box. Now, I'll give you a little bit of background on me. I've been in the computer business now for going on 24 years. And there's always some things that change as they come up with the new operating systems that make life a little interesting, shall I say, for me. But one of the things that I like to do is share directories, specific directories from other computers uh, to this one. And you'll notice I've got several drives mapped right here. But I want to show you the process that I go through to map a drive so that I can share information between uh, devices. And this is going to be between a, a Windows 8.1 system and a Windows XP. Now typically in the past what I would do would be to click on that network icon right here and it shows me all the devices that are out there. Well Windows 8.1 doesn't see it at this point. Uh, not saying that it can't, but it doesn't see it at this point. So I want to go through a workaround because I want to map a directory from another computer over to this computer so that I can use it on this computer. So I go up here to the to this PC and click on that icon and now I want to click on computer at the top and go over to map network drive and I'll click on that and now it brings up a window right here so that I can start the mapping process and I'm going to open this up so that I can assign it a drive letter. In this case I'm going to assign it drive L just uh, for demonstration purposes. Now there are two ways that I can see the computer, uh, the XP box that I want to share information from. Uh, first way is to use the computer name. So I'm going to use backslash backslash. I have to have, to have two backslashes there. And I know that computer name is Bob-XP2. And I put another backslash here. And I'm going to browse. And there it is. There's Bob-XP2. And there's the different directories that are being shared out there. So I could map to any one of those if I wanted to. The, the other way to do it is, let me take this uh, out right here and say backslash backslash this time instead of the computer name I'm going to use the IP address 192.168.101.190 and that's the address the IP address that's assigned to the computer that I've, I've got the shared uh, information on, the one that I want to map to. So if I type that in and then I click on browse, here we go again. It shows that I, instead of Bob XP2, it shows the IP address up here, but this, in this case I want to map this TMP directory. So I'm going to click on that and now it brings that back into this window one other thing that you can check is this box here which says reconnect at sign in. If you don't connect, if you don't check that box, then each time you fire up Windows 8 or each time you log on, uh, log in to your account, you're going to have to reconnect that uh, directory. But uh, we just say reconnect at sign in and I'll click, I'll say finish. Now, this shows me the contents of that, but let me show you how it looks back on the screen where we were. And now you see this drive L. If I hit F5, it'll, on this, it will rearrange them so that now drive L is in proper order up here. But now I've got that drive, or that, that directory mapped as another drive on this computer. This makes it easier to share information between computers. I hope this has been of some help to you.